Mother, you my father must offend that. Come, come, you answer me and I don't tell. Have you forgotten me? No, no, no. You are the queen, your husband, brother, wife. You are my mother. Come, sit down and you shall not fight. What have I done? Do you murder me? What ho? Help! How now? A rat? That for a decade? That? Oh, my queen, I'm slain! Now, Hamlet, where's Polonius? At supper. At supper where? It is not where he eats, but where he is eaten. A group of crusty worms are in him. Your womb is the emperor of Eta. We fatten all creatures to fatten us, and the fattening of ourselves differ to the magus and worm. <laughs> the worm is a father of a fat king <coughs> or a skinny beggar, considering that both fine male rather like two different dishes at one table. A man may fish with the worm that was lead to a king and eat the fish that were able to fit on that worm, which shows that a king the feet may progress through a beggar. He is a doctor. Where did he graduate from? Well, ladies and gentlemen, he need a special ceremony. Nearly for the fish. Prepare for the special ceremony. Well, it's not a doctor. Yeah, doctor doesn't make a magic ceremony to cure a special. Guys, what we get something to drink before we go to the mango house? Yes, I want coffee. And you, Nelly? Just some pure water, please. <laughs> That's why your body is so flat. Which one is heavier? Coffee or pure water? That's not fair. Water is not measured by its weight, but by its purity. Like love, you know? <laughs> you know about love too, of course. Watson? You have the sentimental imagination of the true storyteller. But we are come here for a holiday. You must give your imagination a rest too. So, please drink your tea, remove your whisker, and we will go downstairs and investigate to keepers. I'd be great to help you, but you are giving me no crew to work with. I'm afraid that I, if it's money you want, I have got 20 pounds in the poster saving. It's all yours if you can bring my Tommy home to me, or at least tell me her safe. Good morning, Mary. I'm sorry you are not feeling well. Mr. Watson, Dr. Thomas, why have you come here? Not to ask about my health? Why should a seven go matter to gentlemen like you? Oh, you mean that this us, my dear? I assure you that we... No, Watson. Let's be honest and admit. We didn't come here of our concern for Mary health. Then why did you come here, sir? Mrs. Lutland asked to try to find her son, Tom. Tom? Yes, Tom Lutland. I told you may be able to help me, Marius. You don't understand me, Dad! You are the one who doesn't understand. In fact, you don't know anything. But you always want to be the right. You don't care what I think or I say. But you never listen to me. I definitely can't talk to you. So, now it's all my fault. If you don't like it, then leave. The door is wide open. But, if you get out of that door, don't ever come back. How is he? I miss Han. Please, tell us. How is he? Calm down, calm down. To tell you the truth, he is in a very serious condition. He suffered a heart attack. Can we see him? Just for a few minutes and only one person is allowed to go in. Forgive me for not trying to talk to you. And instead of that, I wrote you this letter. I never wanted to make you suffer. But, dear son, I love you. Just remember, just remember, I never wanted to make you suffer. Well, mom, she made me angry. Oh, calm down, baby. I will give you a punishment. Don't worry. Just watch what I am going to ask you. Ha ha ha. Why did you go? I don't want to eat a petty food. I'm on diet. <coughs> yeah, that sounds good. You'll be happy day by day. You have to diet. What? You? Ugh. Darling, 
You don't have to hear what she say. You are so beautiful. She just getting the look of your beauty. Yeah, mom, you're right. What is this? Do you want to kill me? I can eat these fruits. Oh, my king, I, I, I thought that you don't eat this fruit. You just sit to my king. Go away. I don't want to see your face again. My lord, please don't do that to my sister. I bring the golden fruit for you. This is the real one. I keep your box. If this fruit fit like the other, I will punish you with your mother and your sister. Mm. <laughs> that the fruit I'm looking for. I feel better now. She breaking storms and die for tender spring. So, from that spring, when comfort seems to come, discomfort swells. Mom, King of Scotland, Mom. No sooner has justice with valor armed to trust their, to trust their hills with skipping currents. But the Norwegian lord surveying wantage with published arms and new supplies of men began for fresh assault. Stay, you are a perfect speaker. Tell me more. When signed it, I know I am the time of climb. But how cordial? The sign of cordial. Passport of gentlemen and to the king, sent not within the prospect of the lip. No more than to be called up. <coughs> Say for when see all this strange diligence. Or why open this place of hurt? You stop our way with such property greeting. Speak, I charge you. It worries me. You say it worries you. But how I caught it, found it, or came by it, I am to learn. Your mind is touching on the ocean. There is where your ship sail. Believe me, sir, if I had such a venture sailing on the wavy ocean. Oh, Larissa, I am aware of this great world. And this reasoning is not the way to choose a husband, Larissa. In soon, I pray thee, Larissa, say the names and I will describe them according to my description level and my fiction. I know you will, I know that you will
the rights for I love him, upbeareth me. Please, let me go with him. <laughs>